Hi, let's talk about angular math. You know that we divide a circle into 360 degrees, right? You learned this from an early age, and perhaps you have heard that we divide every degree into smaller portions. Well, one degree is divided into 60 minutes. When we make notation showing minutes, it is a simple dash or uh, like an apostrophe. When we divide a minute further in this type of system, then we divide it into 60 seconds. So we indicate that with a double apostrophe or a quote. So we could say that a full circle is 360 degrees zero minutes and zero seconds, right? Well, how many seconds is that really? Well, that we can determine pretty quickly. We're going to simply multiply 360 degrees by uh, 60 minutes per degree and then multiply that by 60 seconds per minute. And I think you can see some uh, units will cancel, won't they? You'll see that degrees cancel out and minutes cancel out, leaving us seconds, right? So our answer will be 1.296 million seconds in one circle. Well, how big is a circle like that if we try to make a protractor out of it? Well, let's just draw a quick picture then. If we try to make a protractor in which the outer edge of it is divided in seconds, okay, we say that one second is the angular displacement between any two marks. Well, then how big or how far apart will those marks be? Let's make those marks so they are one sixteenth of an inch apart, each one of them. So when we do that, this protractor is going to have a fairly impressive diameter. That diameter is going to be about 2,000 feet. I hope that helps illustrate how finely we are dividing a circle when we divide it into seconds. And we use seconds because it allows us to gain greater precision in terms of our uh, positions on the face of the earth. A degree of arc in terms of latitude or longitude is a very large distance. A second is much, much smaller.